Bring back their life. Wow, uh, bro. I wouldn't even want to say the names, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying I was in awe, my nigga. Like in awe, bro. Master P is the truth. Have you talked to him since then or you never oh, seen yeah, him? Oh, yeah. I talked to him a couple times after that. Yeah, That's all. A couple times, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And then it was Master P. Then I just became a like I was a, I was a no limit stand, bro. Really, you like Mac? I interviewed mm -hmm. Mac. All all of them, bro. I was. I was you, you knew all them boys. I mean, you couldn't tell me I wasn't. <laughs> no, no limit, limit bro. For Christmas, for Christmas, my mama went to the flea market, got me the, the no limit piece, man. I had the no uh -huh. limit piece. Right no now, limit yeah, piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had no limit piece from Cleans Flea Market. And they couldn't tell me shit. I was, <laughs> I was no limit, bro. I was Master P. And if you weren't going to let me be P, I was C Murder. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going to be Silk, though, because he was offbeat with the rap. I know nigga. But Silk was Silk. No, 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 no I knew bro. you didn't say Silk, See, nigga. Silk was the player, bro. And I'm, man, I'm going to tell you something. Player, I'll tell you crazy. Things through, I'll tell you a crazy story, bro. So this nigga named Keno used to manage me years ago, bro, when I first, first was coming in. He used to manage me. And he from New Orleans. He actually came from Abunda. KLC. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's so my boy. You know, me and him, a, we frequently he had, a, he had a hard relationship with P and all them. So and he used to just, he, he used to tell me this, and I used to be like, all right, yeah, nigga, what up? So we in LA, we working. <laughs> he took me to LA to go. This is like when I first jumped in the game, bro. And this nigga had P come up. He pulled up and picked us up, bro. Him and Silk, swear to God, bro. Mm -hmm. We riding with P the whole day, bro. We go to 24 hours. We go hoop. We go to the mall. This nigga take me to his crib. It blew like, your mind. Man, I think the crib was in, what is it, uh, Santa Monica? Yeah. Big ass fucking crib. This nigga showed me a goddamn tax. Dang, this nigga paid like 20 million in taxes on some shit. Damn. I, bro, that was like the craziest. And I can't really That's say. That's a blessing. I can't really say the stories that was being told as we was riding around. The shit him and Silk was saying. They was just reminiscing. They war stories, you know, in this game with who they done been with yeah. and all this other shit. And I was like, damn, bro, these niggas really. Like, they was already the ghost to me, but to actually sit there, you know, that's just like if y'all riding around reminiscing, talking about whatever, whatever, so somebody could be around y'all and they look at y'all as these high figures. Yeah. And y'all just talking about y'all life, what y'all done did, who you done beat up, hard. and that's how hard. much money you done made right here and then, and who you used to date, and all this, that's this shit. You just, I'm just sitting back there like, wow, oh, bro, I wouldn't even want to say the names, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying I was in awe, my nigga. Like in awe, bro. Master P is the truth. Have you talked to him since then, or you never? Oh seen yeah, him? I, I talked to him a couple times after that. Yeah, That's all. a couple times. Yeah. How like, did that motivate you, though? Because being in that environment, seeing all of that, how did that push you? Man, that whole truth was just surreal. That shit just was. It that just was. I don't know. It, I ain't gonna say that it motivated me because it, it damn near discouraged me mm. when I went to this nigga house. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> God damn, my nigga, like... I got to come on with it. And you know, for a while, like, Pete just now getting back out there. He on social media right. heavy now. You know, for a while, Pete was, like, chilling. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just remember at that time, Silk was telling him he... Silk wanted to get back in the rap. He had went to... He had did a show in Vegas, and they was showing him, like, crazy love. And I remember Pete just like, man, leave that shit alone, bro. They don't want to hear you. Like, so that. he just was all the way off everything mm -hmm. that had to do with that. You know what I'm saying? And This courage. Like, and and to see just Pete, like, he was talking about so much business shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was really making me feel like rep. This ain't the route to go get the real bag. But at the same time, he was also telling me shit how to get the bag and rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it was foreign to me at that time, though. And like, he you frequent in movies, too. Ah, he, the, and he the truth. Like, I just can, that's all I can say when I think of Master P. Like, Master P the truth. Master P is like the blueprint to what I want to do in this rap game. I tell niggas all the time, like, that's the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Like, my favorite rappers is Nas and Scarface and Jay-Z, but my favorite hustler is Master P. You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the nigga, and that nigga took care of all his people, bro. Yeah, like shout out to my boy Big Court. Big Court came yeah, on my man. show. He's a friend of Master P, one of his best friends. And Yo. he always shouting out P or either y'all, you know that. solid, bro. Everybody can't be, everybody telling the truth about P, man, being Yo. a real, we know you're a hardcore business man, a real hustler. Right. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.